Let's do this and figure out where you want to put her. Say, there looks good. Alright guys, welcome back. We uh got our uh pet trap or pet pen, animal pen working. So let's see, what else do we need to do today? Oh, I need to make uh let's see. What do we have here? Tanner's table, Tanner's in the tannery. Okay. And I think this is the armors. So we can take this one. Um, light wraps. Yeah, let's try that. take to make the mediums leather All right, let's do some make some leather doesn't make a lot pretty good for organizing um, we'll put some of this stuff away Let's go, we're going to kill some time, we need some more of these guys, and they still got a little ways to go. Uh -oh. Let's go take care of some of these.
Hey, got a head and nothing else, huh? That was rough. What I'm looking for is people or, you know, something I can, I can kill. I don't necessarily want to kill all the shellbacks because then all you have to do is fight a bunch of demon shellbacks. But, you know, if I can find a, like, like the, like I did over here, these individuals that are just chilling out by their campsite or whatever, a lot of times you can get good stuff from them. You can get weapons and tools and, you know, of course you can get their hides and things. Like single them out from each other. Man, I wish I could uh, my wheel to her. But she's one that I definitely would take.
All right, let's see what it takes to make the Wheel of Pain, because the Wheel of Pain is going to be the thing that helps us get the, the good thralls, the workers, and things. Put some more hide in this tannery. So those are used for sorcery when, when you have the sorcery available. So let's, uh, we want to save it. I'm not sure what the hammer's for. Oh, it's just a weapon. Okay. Okay. So let's see what it takes to make the Wheel of Pain. 50 bars, 50 twine, 200 stone, 200 wood. Okay, so twine, stone, got enough wood. Okay, for me. Um, I need more twine, I think, or was that right? So that one, that one. That one and that one. Let's see. Okay, so it says I have enough. Alright. Where do I want to put the pain wheel? I'm thinking. Somewhere about this one would be good. Yeah, I think that'll be good enough. So now we can bring bring ones over for training. Alright, so let's see. We need first, we need to find some seeds. We'll put some of this stuff away. I need seeds. And I think I need to keep those. Because in the here, put seeds. No. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let's take a look and see. Maybe I have to unlock it. This one, no. have the this it doesn't huh hmm I'm looking 
looking for is the gruel, which is what you feed. And I'm not seeing... Okay, maybe I just need to unlock them. I wouldn't mind having the fish trap or the drying rack. Um, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. That unlocked a lot of shade spice. Uh, hold on. So let's bring some of this over. Some of this. I don't think it's any of this stuff. Um. Well, something's making it, so let's see. Oh, it was the grass. Okay. I thought it was the seeds. Alright, so now we got some gruel at least. It ain't much, but it's a start. Let's go get us some more grass. Make sure of this. Okay, so it's grass and the seeds. take a look and see what we got as far as people go over here uh, they haven't spawned back in yet so we're going to move for a little bit and these guys yeah they're cooking along we're going to come over here get away from that spot and let these guys come in We'll take out this archer or whatever it is. Yeah, let y'all relax. Definitely an archer. You could hit the broad side of a barn. Out the dirt. Trying to get him to come on back away from him. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice stuff. Right, we'll take you all your stuff here. See which one's which. Fighter and a smelter. Okay. You lift a little white bar above her head. There's a red bar that's her life, and and the white bar is her knockout. So the goal is to not do it too much damage to her. More more knockout than anything. Don't let her kill you. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it is hell? I messed up and didn't didn't spawn on my bed. What are you? Fighter? You picked the wrong fight. Gods take you. So now that she's down, she's not dead. She just uh, knocked out. Now we put our deal on, hit square, 
And now, no matter where you go, she's kind of following along, just dragging her way. Then you come over to this, you hit square, it automatically puts her in there. But you have to remember to hit play. If you don't, she will not tame. She'll just sit there. She eats the the gruel. That's what she. That's their preferred food. So that's what you want to do. Uh, now she's taming, and it's gonna take a while. They tame really slow. Um, so. All you do, all you can do, is wait till she's ready. I'll make her some more gruel. That way, she's got plenty. Each one gruel is ten, so it's making seven, which makes seventy. slowly work her way as you can see she's going up she's a level one so she'll go up the fastest out of them now if you have a taskmaster you can put him as a thrall that worked this and their speeds will go a little faster I don't have a whole lot of stuff so uh, Unfortunately, you can only have one at a time on the wheel, so we can't really get, get any more until she's done. <laughs> no wonder. I've never tried to, if, to see if they'll eat anything besides the gruel, but I, I'm pretty sure the gruel is their preferred food source and if you try to bring another one over here and bring it to this it'll ask you do you want to kick that one off if you kick them off then you have to, they basically just disappear and you lose them and if you choose not to then you're stuck with the one you're dragging around that takes a while so she's munching out on the you saw it, uh, this one changed from 17 to 16, so that is her preferred food. Now, once she's tamed, that's different. You have, gruel is one that you can feed any of them. But they also have, like, if you want certain items to go up, certain aspects, then you put a certain food group. So if you want their strength to go up, you put a certain food group. If you want their stamina or their vitality to go up, then you put a certain food group. Now, let's see what it takes to make uh, some better armor, because we were getting our butts handed to us with this meat, this light armor. So, we'll put this in here. Go ahead and make some more. I'm going to take this out. Alright, let's see what we got. Go over the tanner's bench, put this in. I mean, not the tanner's, the armor's bench, sorry. I was at the tanner's. Um, oh, it's going to need iron. So I'm going to have to make an iron run. But what I can do is make these, and that takes twine. What does this take? It just takes grass. So I'm going to go get some grass. Make some twine. And now as long as you have food in, in the, the bench that she's in, uh, it, she'll keep walking, eating and walking. 
when she's done it will stop even if there, even though there's food in there so you can kind of keep an eye on if it's turning everything's good if it stops go check it and see if it maybe either she's out of food or she's done so Once she's done, we'll have a friend that can help carry stuff. They have an unlimited weight capacity, so you can load them down with all your stuff. No, not all your stuff, because they only have five slots. But you can load down all their slots, and then from there you can, you know, so like you can put the heaviest stuff on them, and then yeah, the rest is on you. Know, the lighter stuff's on you. You can put armor on them just like like that you put it on you. Let's see. Uh, what can we make? I'm going to make a bunch of these because we're going to need them. I'll make as many as I can. So I'll get some more, more grass. to make another run for iron in order to uh, do much progression in this let's so make the the armors I'm gonna have to have the iron far she is now I'd like to get her yeah she'd be done in just a little bit I'd like to get her finished so on this episode just so y'all can see you know how they work how the, the little people work One, two, three, four. So I need to make at least four. Yeah, I need to make eight. So that'll give me five. Because I want a set for me and a set for my thrall. And then I need some more leather. So we'll take this, get all this leather out of it. And we'll put it over here. I mean, all the hide. We made hide. So now we're going to make leather. Oh, I'm out of bark. Okay, I gotta go get some bark. Well, they wouldn't let me go to the play. I do like that they don't, like, it. things don't just keep burning when you're not doing something. Like, if it was done and I turned it on, it would just keep burning. But if, it, you know, like this, once as soon as they're done making, it stops burning. And this, this tar is very important stuff, so don't get rid of it. Um, Alright, let's see what it takes to make. I guess I'm going to have to get my hammer back. Yeah. Because I want to see what else we can make and what else we have. Uh, Alright. So we have the horse stables. 
Uh, let's see, for carpentry, we have the artisan table and the carpenter's bench. I can almost make the carpenter's bench. In fact, I can artis almost make the artisan table. So let's see. This is the armor, so I need, I need basically wood. So let's go get some wood. Uh, I think that should be enough. Let's get some more bark too, because Makes a lot of stuff burn. And one more, and I'm gonna call that one quits. Alright, that'll work. So now we can go. make some stuff. Let's see. Alright. So let's go to the carpentry. Let's make one of these. Oh, I got a bed. My bed is there. Uh, let's see. I like... We'll do that. And we'll do this one's going to be a little bigger. So let's turn it like this. Alright, I'm going to have to move some stuff. So we'll do take all, hold that, we'll do, do move, we'll put it right here, let's take this, move, that's not what I want to do, uh, we'll put it, turn it and put it right here. Alright, now we can take this box, and I think we can do this without, yeah, without emptying it. We'll put it over here by the door. Alright, we'll put this box over here by the door. Alright, now... Do it like that, and bring it just a little bit. Oh. Now we can make shaped wood, and we can make all this fancy stuff: cauldrons and shoe, uh, shoes. Uh, Plaques, fish plaques, different different things. Now this is more of decorations, is what it is. But you know, it's nice to have sometimes, like all these fire cauldrons or braziers. You know, they just look cool from some place. Decorate your house, and if you don't like something, all you gotta do is hold this, say remove, and it's no longer there. You get all your material back that it took to make it. So, like, I can go in here, and I can say, I didn't want to do that anymore. I'm going to do, let's see, what can I do? Farming. Uh, blacksmith bench, that would be a good one. So I don't think we have one yet, but I need 50 iron bars to do that. 
Um, the Tinker's Bench is handy. So if I can get... Alright, so that's what I'm going to do, I think. Because yeah, this is all building and this is decoration. I don't need any of that. Okay. Oh, is she done yet? Yeah. Alright, so we can take her with us now. So you can tell she's done because if you look right here on this crafting queue, there's nothing there. So that tells you that she's she's done. Now all you do is just say take. Then you come over here, which we're gonna take the food too. We're gonna take that. And then we will take her and we'll put her in our wheel. Oops, that's the wrong button. We will take her and put her in our wheel. And you just do this and figure out where you want to put her. Say, there looks good. She's got a hammer. She already comes with a, with a weapon and some basic armor. The armor matches, you know, her level. She's a basic fighter, so she's a level one. I mean, uh, Stygian Exile one, so therefore that's all she'll be. Now, the beauty part about these people is you can take and give her the club, and now she'll have to get our rope, and see what it takes to make another truncheon, which I think it's vines, let's see, I think it's vines, um, Grass, branches, and leather. Okay. So. Take this, this. Um, we have leather. Alright, so now all we need is some grass. I don't know why I always hit that button. Just come over here and pick a few grass. And now we can make a five grass. One more. make one for me she's got one let me go give her some food and if you want to you can come over here to her hands and say here you're gonna get this in your main and put puts it down it goes back into her inventory it doesn't stay in her hand but it's okay as soon as this, she gets into a fight she will pull it back out and continue doing what she was doing so now what I want to do is look at a shield because I want her to be as protected as possible. So we'll do a bone shield. Do we have 24 bones? No. So we'll do a wood shield. Same one we have. And that's just wood and vines. We'll take this. They're not vines, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, this stuff, where you twist it together. I don't know how many I have to look, see how many it takes. So that should be good. So now we can make her one of these. So she can block while she's hitting them with the with the truncheon. I can tell her to follow. 
we can tell her to go to her behavior and see how far how close she follows us we want her to be kind of close to us we want her to guard me so if somebody attacks me then she'll start fighting back uh, we prioritize melee and how far we want her to follow them under engagement attack distance we want it to be fairly close and the last one is Huh. Oh, that was our engagement. It's a chase distance. We don't care how far she chases them. She'll come back as soon as she's done fighting them. So, we'll take her over here. I gotta put my trungeon in my hand. And we'll see who we can get next. Put your weapons away, Exile. Find the dancer who's knocked out. I mean, the dancer. Oh, it killed her. Well, we'll just take all her stuff. What did he have? Anything? Yeah, we can take his stuff. Should have been using that on the people. So, we can put the club on her now. She won't use the shield, but if anybody gets near her, she'll just pummel them down, or if we're attacking anybody. grab some iron so I think what we'll do is we'll go over here
Okay. Breaking down mountains. I'm not seeing a whole lot of metal over here. So I'm going to look here and see. Yeah, it's just straight across.
All right, let's go see what this crocodile did to these two. I think I'm going to end it here, uh, but as you can see, it's not super hard to do this. Uh, these guys, level ones, pretty easy, and they'll help you out and get the rest. So, you know. So, uh, Y'all give it a try and see if y'all like this, you know, like playing this game. I'm, I kind of like it, you know. I get addicted real easy to these kind of games because they're, they're, they're constantly changing and, you know, you can pretty much, it's an open world, you know, it's an open book. You can do whatever you feel like on it. So I'm going to get to where I can make her a bone shield since she's not super strong. Looks like I need maybe three more oh no I can do it okay so that's what I'll work on and I'll get the iron smelted down that I've I've made or that I went and harvested we'll put that over here uh, we will put some of this in here and get this going so that'll make us 27 that ought to be enough to get us the blacksmith's bench which will help us make iron weapons and things like that. So, till next time, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all around. Let me know if this is something y'all want me to keep doing because I'm having issues with people actually watching this series. So, I mean, I'm only, there's only like three or four people at a time watching this series uh, for each episode. And it, to me, that's not really, it's telling me that it's not entertaining to y'all. So it's not entertained, y'all. I don't want to do it. I don't want to put something out there just to put it out there. So let me know. Uh, I did put a survey on the online, on the on YouTube, to see what y'all would be more interested in as far as with the Days Gone series. But this one also is looking like it may be going to the wayside unless y'all change my mind by saying y'all would like to to see me continue this. Um, I will still do Seven Days to Die. I may end up doing more seven days to die, so we'll see. Uh, I'll keep y'all posted. So let me know what y'all think, and until uh, next time.